Okay, it's been a while, so I thought I'd do a shop update. We've actually been crazy busy, uh, which is one of the reasons I'm not able to get uh, as many videos out or as frequently out as I would like. But um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try to get back to doing at least one video a week, uh, if possible. Um, so yeah, let's just have a walk through the shop, um, see what we've got in. Uh, so those of you who are really into kind of sport bikes from the the 80s, 90s and, and uh, 2000s will appreciate some of the machines we've got in here at the moment. Um, so yeah, we've got, let's start with this. This was the Ducati 748 Will It Run bike. We did a series of videos on this. And right now I'm just enjoying riding that bike. I have friends come up and clients who... Uh, also go out and, and have some fun on this. We go up into the mountains. Um, not intending to really do anything more with that bike. Maybe I'll paint the tank. I did do some work on the fairings. Because if you remember, this bike didn't come with any fairings. Um, and I got a uh, tank for it, which is pretty beat up, but better than the one that was on it. I might just paint that. Um, yeah, so walking through the... Uh, through the shop, uh, we've got a couple of CBR 90, well, a 93 CBR 900RR. This has been on the channel before. This is my bike. Um, again, it's just a bike we like to ride. Um, don't really know right now what I'm going to do with this. No major plans. Um, we've got a 94 um, CBR, Honda CBR 900RR, which is from now. There are two other CBR 900 RRs uh, that came with this bike. So there's three bikes from this particular client. I will uh, insert a video I did on the three bikes when they arrived because uh, two of those bikes are not uh, here at the moment. Okay, so we just had uh, three, three more bikes delivered to the MCSR uh, shop uh, at our new location. These, have been, these all belong to one client uh, who's um, who we've had done work for before or has bought bikes from uh, fully restored bikes from the shop so he's brought over three uh, Honda CBR 900 RRs that he's had in his collection for some time and we're going to restore them um, each one's a little bit different and the the last one we'll come to I'll discuss at the end is a very very special 900 RR but yeah the first one we've got here this is an original uh, or was originally, it's a 1993 first year uh, CBR 900RR, uh, also known as the Fireblade in the UK and, and Europe. Um, this was a red, white and blue bike, you can see by the white wheels, uh, but it's at some point somebody's put a Chinese Repsol uh, body kit on there. Uh, so that's all going to come off and we're going to replace all of that with uh, OE bodywork. We've got a full set of OE bodywork, just needs paint. We're going to go through and make sure this is a full OE nut and bolt restoration. And this bike will look like uh, it came straight out the, the showroom when by the time we're done. It's got a cut tail, uh, tail unit mudguard there, nothing new. So that's going to obviously need replacing. We do have a complete one in stock. So that'll be replaced. Um, genuine mirrors, but they're looking in pretty bad shape. So we'll be replacing the mirrors, obviously putting all the original turn signals, OE turn signals on. It's got, but generally the running gear is all OE, front wheel, front forks, rear swing arm. Uh, so it's gonna be mainly body work. Uh, we've got a few repairs to make. Um, to the frame it's been slightly polished at some point in time so we're going to obviously uh, take that back to its original OE finish it's got an aftermarket exhaust Sudco exhaust we've got an OE exhaust to replace that um, yeah what else oh yeah when they did the Repsol body kit you can see they fitted the probably 95 Fox Eye headlights so they'll be coming off and uh, we have a set of uh, 93 uh, original headlights to go on it so that bike is going to be a full nut and bolt restoration uh, red white and blue everybody's favorite most people's favorite color I would say 
and uh, yeah that's going to be a long-term project uh, probably that we'll complete sometime in uh, next year moving on to the the second bike and those of you familiar with the these models you'll recognize the paint scheme to be a 94 uh, paint scheme so pretty much it's the same bike as the 93 there were some subtle changes um, between the two but this one is pretty much all OE uh, you can see it's got all the original bodywork on it although it's somewhat uh, beat up uh, but it's got OE it's still got all the OE chain guards on there original labels OE wheels everything uh, so this bike again it's a 94 not quite as um, popular as the 93s but we're gonna keep this one OE as well full OE it's got an OE exhaust it's been repainted I think it should be gloss not matte uh, but again looks nice the frame looks nice in its original kind of um, you know scuffed aluminium uh, look uh, swing arm looks nice it's got still the original labels on there yeah so this one um, what I'm hoping is we'll basically uh, just do body work it's got the full tail unit on there so that's not been cut so really with this one we just got to go through the whole bike we'll strip it down detail it maybe do some replating of the fasteners because they're you know any bike this age are a little bit corroded but I think generally for the chassis and the running gear, it's going to be cleaning, maybe some replating of fasteners. And then we just got to decide what to do with the bodywork. I can't make my mind up yet. Um, the tank is in nice condition. I can't see any major dents. So for sure, we're going to do a, um, you know, a light restoration on the tank like we've done on some of the other videos on the channel uh so what we call a sympathetic restoration so i think the tank is nice we're going to keep that completely original but we'll go through and just touch up any little any little scuff marks or whatever on there uh but the rest of the panels they look pretty beat up uh so i think either we will look for oe good oe that we can um you know then bring back to like new condition because I think we could try to recover some of these panels, but it looks, you know, it's going to be a lot of work. Last resort, uh, we'll repair them or replace them and then repaint. But uh, it would be nice to have this as an original paint bike because the rest of the running gear looks so good. Anyway, we'll decide later exactly how we uh, approach that one. But uh, yeah, the real uh, star of the three is this bike here. So, okay, so the third uh, CBR900RR we believe to be a Kaz Yoshima build. You can see here it's got the uh, Ram Air intake, which was custom designed for this bike um, and has a carbon intake into the airbox. It has uh, aftermarket race shock. Uh, chain guard among other things it's got a, a custom what we believe is a, a one-off or at least hand-built uh, race exhaust uh, Kaz Yoshima race exhaust uh, bias adjuster for the rear brake pedal uh, different foot pegs um, what else it's got the uh, steering damper uh, added on there and quite a few other things so, including Ontario Mototech triple trees so this bike is going to be uh, fully restored complete nut and bolt restoration retaining all the period correct modifications and it's going to be quite a special build um, yeah and then we've got on the lifts uh, or on one lift we've got a 1986 a Honda VF1000R, we're doing quite a few of these at the moment. A lot of people, uh, clients who reached out to us on the channel when they saw some of the uh, previous videos we'd done. Um, this is a really nice bike. It's, again, a bike that's been, it was in storage. 
uh, for many, many years, not running, you know, and had the usual issues. So uh, the client decided to give us a call, asked if we would recommission it for them. And so, yeah, we've been working on that. We didn't post any videos on this uh, just because we'd done a couple of VF1000Rs already in the last year. And I thought maybe, you know, uh, you guys would just be getting a little bit bored with that content. So we, I've been featuring it on the community notes and it's turned out really nice. It had the usual major issues like the previous VF1000R we recommissioned with the coolant system was was completely trashed. Uh, we had to replace uh, both radiators in this one, water pump, thermostat. It was pretty bad. And uh, and I've, you know, I've put advice out on the channel about storing these bikes. In particular, the VF1000R, for some reason, really suffers if you leave it stored for long times uh, with coolant in it. So, but that bike now is up and running. Um, we've gone through it almost entirely now. What's really just left is uh, we've got to put some fork oil in, uh, air up the forks, air up the rear shock, uh, do all the fluids, brakes, engine oil, etc. And then that bike is ready to go back to its client. And uh, it's sounding really nice. We haven't ridden it yet, but uh, engine sounds really nice on it. Now it's all running. So that's that project. What was on here was another VF1000R, uh, which has been completely uh, dismantled. And you can see most of it is here on the, this shelving. All the bodywork, running gear, brakes, swing arm, etc. All the fasteners and parts, they're going off for plating. Uh, this is going to be the wheels, which we uh, completely stripped down, as you can see there and pulled apart they're going off for black anodizing um, all the fasteners you can see uh, are going to go off for plating black zinc bright nickel gold zinc this is going to be a full-on restoration like uh, my bike i did a few years back and featured on the channel we're taking a few videos of this uh, and stuff we might I don't think I'm going to do uh, a series on it because, again, there's already, already a series on a full restoration. But what we might do is kind of do a time lapse from beginning to end because I did take time lapse of the strip down of the bike, which is pretty cool to see. And then maybe we'll do a time lapse of it being reassembled. And then, you know, just it'll just be one time lapse video uh, beginning to end rather than a, a series. I think that'll be more fun for some of the subscribers. Um, but that's obviously a an 18 month uh one year to 18 month project uh there's the frame for it it's a 1985 bike this one the engine we're going to be tearing down the engine mainly just top end rebuild uh and then cosmetics yeah and then we've got two gorgeous bikes here uh which did i did do a short on these this is a client, a new client. The, we've got the uh, GSXR 1100, if I recall, 92, but I could be wrong on that, 92 or 93. These bikes, I just love these bikes now, and I think they're starting to come into their own, uh, that era of the 1100 and even the 750s. These bikes are in for full restoration. So they're, they're fairly low mileage bikes, relatively nice condition very original but they've cosmetically the uh, both of them have suffered from oxidization so they've been previously stored not by the existing client uh, but you know previous owners they've been stored in damp conditions and these are both obviously going to be sympathetic restorations because they're in they're so original we're not going to just you know repaint everything um we're just going to refinish all the fasteners, go through, strip them completely apart, blow them apart, replate all the fasteners, refinish all the metal parts um, where they're oxidized. And then for the paint, I'm going to do completely sympathetic restoration on them. We'll bring them back looking like new, but we're not going to repaint them or re-decal them. Um, yeah, I've got, I'm still working on the uh, RC51 uh, SP2. 
fairings. We've got two sets, actually three sets of fairings now. Uh, I've done the seat cows. There's a video on that. I'm going to be putting out a video on the side fairings. Um, and I'll show you some other paint that we've been working on. Okay, and on the paint side, yeah, we just finished up the uh, YSR 50 uh, bodywork. That came out uh, really nice, as you can see. We didn't do any um, videos of this work, just simply because we were on a tight schedule for the client and uh, just didn't have really, or really time to, to shoot the videos. Um, and this was um, after we'd already done the wheels and the gas tank. Uh, which was uh, I think shown in the in the community notes. So we, we ended up really doing the full bike. Uh, we have the uh, RC fifty one RVT one thousand R SP two. These are Nikki Hayden parts and we've been doing um, basically sympathetic restoration uh, bringing back all the fairings to like new condition but retaining as much of the originality as possible you can see I did a video on these seat cows they're all done and then we're uh, currently working on the um, side fairings there's actually two sets of everything this client is a big collector of uh, RC51s um, and has three bikes actually um, and then we'll also be uh, working on the front cows as well so we're pretty much finished on the side fairings I will be doing a video on that in a couple of weeks and then we'll move on to the um, the front cows um, so that's yeah that's pretty much it on the paint side um, um, and then, yeah, this absolutely stunning um, motorcycle. I mean, just look at that beast. That's a, a 99 GSXR 1300R, uh, or GSX 1300R, I should say, um, in just stunning condition. Um, so it's a Hayabusa, of course. It's been sat quite a while it's a client that we've done a couple of bikes for now um, and it's basically it's only I think uh, 4,000 miles on this bike just tremendous bike um, yeah yeah you can see here the condition is just absolutely outstanding so this bike doesn't run um, at the moment so we're going to be getting that up on the bench next and uh doing a kind of will it run video of course we you know in this condition we know we're going to get it running but it'll be interesting to see what's wrong you know, typically the bike's been sad a while and typically it's going to be you know the usual fuel pump issues um so yeah that's and that's really just in for that just to get it running riding we're going to go through change all the fluids on it um so the client can you know then decide if they're just going to ride this for a while or or maybe they're going to you know move this on from their collection um yeah but that's it extremely busy right now um like i said we've got uh these bikes in and then we've got uh, two other cbr 900 rrs um so we've got uh, plenty of work going on at the moment and a really i think you'd agree a kind of eclectic collection of of 80s 90s and, and 2000 bikes really cool to see anyway that's the workshop update and uh yeah uh, stay tuned please like the videos and subscribe to the channel um you know we are going to try and grow the channel uh, and put more content on there um so yeah see you soon and bye for now